Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We, the students of Dalum Imam Rabbani, are going to demonstrate a very interesting vehicle called a hovercraft. Every day, we come across different means of transport. Transportation has become a basic necessity of every human in today's life. However, due to increasing in fuels like petrol and diesel day by day, it is a scarce and non renewable resource. So, in order to serve humanity and relieve them, we have we plan that we have to make a vehicle which should not only fuel efficient, but it is affordable for each and every human being. So, after some research, we come across a air cushion vehicle, which is commonly is known as a hovercraft. Now, what is hovercraft? It is an amphibious vehicle which is capable of traveling over land, water, ice, mud, and other surfaces. However, this vehicle attains higher speed than ships and most other land vehicles and use much less power than helicopter of the same weight. And a hovercraft is a masterpiece of engineering technology. And the concept is new. Though the concept is new, the rate of development of hovercraft has been outstandingly faster than the other mode of transportation. Last thing is that the hovercraft is an eco-friendly vehicle in today's world because it uses last fa large fan. Thank you very much. I am going to explain you about the working of our hovercraft. How does a hovercraft work? Hovercraft works on two main principles of lift and thrust. Around the edge of the craft, there is a flexible curtain called a skirt. We have two lifting blowers. When the blower begins, air blows underneath the craft. Air trapped inside the skirt as the volume and pressure of air increase until the whole craft is lifted off the ground. Then the craft reaches its maximum height of ground, of ground or water. This is called its obstacle clearance height. The air never escapes from beneath the skirt and craft literally floats on air. And now it is frictionless. Once lifted or on cushion. Now thrust. Thrust is created to move the hovercraft forward. Some craft use separate machine for this purpose. We have used only one blower for this purpose. The shape of the body is also affect the stability of stability of hovercraft. Longer and narrower shape increase speed but decrease the stability. Most hovercraft have rounded ends which and offer both stability and speed. Thank you very much. Now I'm going to explain that how the how the lift fan and the thrust thrust propeller works. Lift fan. Firstly, the volume of air needed is very large and the propeller is to be designed most efficient in open air, just like on an aircraft. The fan needs to force the air into the, the air into pressure under the craft, so creating specific pressure under the craft. The propeller again not being efficient in applications. When an airbag pressure will be applied to the propeller, propeller blades as they rotate. Because of this, the lifting fan on most hovercraft uses. What is centrifugal fan? This is a fan with two discs fitted together and looks rather like donut angle slats at their, at their edges. When the fan is rotated with the higher speed, the air is sucked by the holes and the pressure is produced inside the skirt and the air escapes from the holes with pressure and the hovercraft lifts up. In place of lift fan, we have used two blowers which works like lift fan and now thrust fan. How does the thrust fan works? It works by taking front air backward and allowing the vehicle to move forward. We can increase or decrease the speed, speed of the hovercraft by the thrust fan. Thank you very much. I am going to tell about the skirt of the hovercraft and radar. First, the skirt of the hovercraft. The skirt is a shape, flexible strip fitted below the bottom of the edges. It is used to maintain the normal opting speed through large wave and pass over rock, ridges, etc. The skirt of the overcraft is the most designed part. The skirt material has to be light, durable and flexible. The common skirt is also known as bag skirt. It is used to cover the bottom of the, bottom of the edges and has hole in it to allow air to escape out and the overcraft lifts up. Second, radar. Radar is the most important part of the overcraft. It is also used in aeroplane. It is used to change the direction of the hovercraft. It is controlled by the variety of devices 
including computer. That is very lightweight. Thank you very much. Now, I am going to tell you the applications of Hovercraft. Hovercraft have many applications, for example, navigating waterways that cannot be reached by boats, rescue works on ice, desert, mud, water, etc., military service, agriculture, spraying, heavy load movement across the difficult surface, charter operation, fishing anywhere, including on ice, public transport, sports, like racing. Thank you very much. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والذي خلق الأزواج كلها وجعل لكم من الفلك والأنعام ما تركبون لتستووا على ظهوره ثم تذكروا نعمة ربكم إذا استويتم عليه وتقولوا سبحان الذي سخر لنا هذا وما كنا له مكرنين وإنا إلى ربنا لمنقلبون and who created the species all of them and has made for you of ships and animals those which you mount that you may settle yourself upon their backs and then remember the favor of your Lord when you have settled upon them and you say, Exalted is he who has subjected this to us and we could not have otherwise subdued it. And indeed, we to our Lord will surely return. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Enjoy this whole craft site. As we write our whole craft, you can also make your own whole craft. If you need our help, we are here to help you out. Thank you very much for giving us your precious time and have a nice day. Jazakallah. Assalamu alaikum.